Jeff, how'd the team look today? They're good. Uh, you can tell conference play is fixing to start. You know, there's attention to detail. and We have a lot of respect for this opponent, uh, the way they play the game, the way they carry themselves, Coach Houston and their staff, and uh, the tradition they have there, their home field, what people, you know, know about them and their traditions. So uh, we, we understand the, uh, the importance of this game and the respect for the team we're playing. Jeff, what do you remember about that game from last season? Um, the same, how we had a lot of respect for them, how hard they played. Uh, they were they were struggling last year, and you wouldn't have known that by the way they showed up, competed, and played. It's a tribute to Mike Houston, and the kind of man he is, and the kind of program he runs. And they did a really good job of bringing their players back, uh, and they did a really good job of getting the portal and getting some really good players to add to a really good team already. So uh, even though his record might you know look not as good as they really are, they've been beat by two really good teams in Liberty and App, uh, where they had commanding leads in both games. You've mentioned a couple of times wanting to see if your team was ready for this moment and being not quite sure at, at this point. How do you feel? How close is the group? I, I tell them some all week. We won't know till we go get one, and we haven't done it yet. I mean, we're twenty six and three or whatever, something crazy at home, but we got to go get one on the road. We didn't get one in Texas State. We didn't get one in Texas, and until we go get one on the road, you're not you're not a championship team. No, uh, so that's that's what I've been challenging them on. That they're. they're the other four teams have done that, but this is a different team. This is not those teams. So each team is its own team. And when the season started, I told everyone that would listen that we're being picked because of the success of the last four years, not necessarily on the merit of this team. Do I believe this team can get there? Yes. Have we yet? No. Is there something about the process of going on the road or approaching that challenge that you want to change or do differently based on what you've seen the first two tries? We just got to get better. It's not like we're not trying. We're just, we weren't ready. We weren't good enough yet. Texas State was a lot better than us, and so was Texas at that time. Uh, but it's a it's a long season. Uh, if it were over right after the first week, I mean, everybody wouldn't pay attention. There's, there's, it's a long season. Uh, we'll, we'll keep getting better. If we can stay, if we can get healthier, we'll, we'll keep getting better. Obviously, when you lose certain players, you kind of go backwards a little bit before you get going again. Jeff, what have you seen out of uh, Kamar? Tremendous improvement. Tremendous. I mean, one of the most improved players on the team. A wonderful young man. Become a big fan. He he is truly bought into everything we do here. And he's just a really good human that enjoys playing the game the right way. Loves to be coached. Likes to be coached hard. And a uh, huge fan. What's your impression overall of how Jamori Robinson has responded to stepping up and kind of being in the starting role so far this season? He's handled it well. He has. And... Uh, I'm proud of him for that, uh, but we're, we're still, we haven't done anything. So even though I'm very proud of Jamori, I'm very proud of Kamar, we, we need to go try to get one. Jeff, we saw um, Martavius have a few good games here for you these last two games. What, what have you seen out of him? He loves ball. Uh, he loves to practice. Him and Donye both are, you know, very verbal, high energy guys. and. Um, really has a beautiful smile. I mean, it's, it's really hard to not like Martavius. And um, I'm proud of him. He, he just continues to work every day. And uh, he's also a good football player. So I'm uh, really proud of him. I, I know he missed the preseason with the suspension issue. What, is it surprising that he was able to kind of jump right in? No, uh, because of the time he puts in, the work he's been put in, uh, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's unfortunate. It was tough on him, very tough on him. Uh, but he worked his way out of it, and I'm really proud of where he is right now. Did you learn anything about him from the way he handled that? That's a difficult situation. I'm um, really proud of him. That's, that's why football is the greatest sport. I told you all a million times. I've, I've coached a lot of them. It's the closest thing to life. You know, li life's hard. I mean, life's really hard. And so is football. It's a, it's a game played by tough people because it's a tough game. And life is a uh, tough game. Uh, the guys that survive life are the ones that are tough. And I mean survive in the sense of just, you know, handle the adversity that comes along the way. Um, and um, he'll be prepared for that. He's been through it a little bit now. Jeff, how's David Amador responded to just being sidelined for the amount of time? It's been tough. It's been very unfortunate. Um, we're, we're, we're shocked it's taking this long. And we just can't get him right. And uh, it's very frustrating. 
It's been tough on him. Uh, you know, he's a very, very hardworking, steady young man. That's it's been tough. Uh, we check on him daily, and he's always out there and around. But it's just not the same. He didn't know this injury was going to take this long. Is there a point where it kind of switches and you start to think about preserving a redshirt, or do you just want to get him out there as soon as you can? No, we haven't even discussed that at all. We're just, try we're just trying to take care of David right now. All right, Jeff, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks,